Ye Wu Bin's 100 Lessons to Mastering Time Management. Lesson 20 Motivation and Details Form a Habit. Hello, everyone. My name is Ye Wu Bin from Yi Shan Heng. I am so happy to be with you now at 6 a.m. on the Himalaya app. For those of you who have been following my lessons, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome aboard. I'm so happy to have you here with us. Time is man's scarcest resource. Once it's used, it can never be regained. So if you're not using your time effectively, or if the time you are spending is only getting you further away from your dreams in life, then stay with me. Listen a while, and I'm confident I can help open your eyes to a new path that will get you closer to your dreams. I want to remind you that there are 100 classes in this album, and every class lasts about six minutes. It is updated at 6 a.m. New York City time each morning. Today we are going to talk about how to form a habit. I'll share with you a personal experience in order to help you understand why motivation and details form a habit. When Winston Churchill, the leader of the United Kingdom during World War II, was 25 years old, he cried for freedom. 25 years later, he changed his mind and said that self-discipline is important. After another 25 years passed, when he was 75, he said, "Self-discipline brings freedom." So today, I'm going to share with you the idea that more self-discipline will make you more free. Self-discipline. Is something that looks very difficult to achieve in the eyes of others. However, for those who have achieved self-discipline, it's really very simple. We've talked a lot about habits in previous lessons. What is a habit? A habit is quite simply detailed action with consistent patterns. And what drives us to complete these little details in the same way each time? Our motivation does. I will share a story. About me, about the habit I have of taking cold showers. That's right, you heard me correct. Cold showers. Did you know there are a lot of benefits of taking a cold shower? When Yi Shanang's parenting class was about to open its first session, I came across an article when I was studying time management for this parenting class. The article told the story of a Korean mother. Who raised six children so successfully that they all became doctors with degrees from the best universities in the world? All six of them. There were so many people that wanted to interview her, and when they did, they all asked, "How did you raise so many gifted children with fantastic results?" The mother said something very important and compelling. She said, "Your body is your engine." Your body is your engine," she explained. That at one point her children were very sick and unable to study; their grades were very low. You can see how time management is related to energy management. These children had no energy. The mother focused on time management by focusing on energy management. She needed to find a way to help her children increase their energy so they wouldn't be so sick all the time. She decided to help her children develop their exercising habits. Can you guess what she started to do? Yep, she started to bathe her children with cold water. She then asked them to get up early and go running to exercise their bodies. My son used to be sick a lot too, but after I read about this story, I decided to try it. I would bathe my son in cold water. So I went home and I told my wife this idea. My son was there too. When I finished telling my wife and son, they had no reaction. At first, I was a little scared. And then my wife responded, "If you want to try this, then you better cold bathe yourself first." <laughs> my wife, you see, she's very smart. I fell right into that trap. I thought about it over and over, and finally I told her, "Okay, fine." I will do it first. Boy, I was scared, and I procrastinated. I put it off as long as I could, but eventually I finally decided to do it because I wanted to be a role model for my son. I wanted to show 
him an example to do what I said I would do. One day later, as I was trying to generate the willpower to complete this challenge, I began to tell one of my students, who is from Beihai, which is a city in southwest China, and to my great surprise, he told me that he had been taking cold showers for years. And then he told me the secret about taking cold showers. He said, "Your head feels the cold, so keep your head out of the cold water." But see, normally a shower starts with water hitting your head and then dripping to your waist and down to your feet. And he told me another thing. He said that cold air and moisture will enter your body and make you sick if you bathe in cold water. But he had another secret. He said that after taking a cold shower, use the blow dryer to warm your body. Focus the hot air on your outer elbow and knee joints. If you do this immediately after taking a cold shower, the cold air and moisture will not enter your body, and you will not be sick. And after he shared this with me, I took a cold shower for the first time, and then I found out that it's not that hard at all. As long as you follow the right method, anything is possible, and nothing is impossible. Later, I read the Magic of Morning Diary book, and in it, the author also advises using cold water in the shower. And after that, I talked to many people and read several books about cold showering, and I learned how cold showers can have great benefits to our body. When we are sick, cold showers even help us recover much more quickly. A yoga teacher once told me that cold showering is the best way to clean our body. You see, when cold water pours over your skin, blood gathers around that area to protect you from the coldness. When the cold shower ends, your blood will return to your organs. This process stimulates circulation, which has great benefits for our body. There are other benefits as well, but I don't have the time to share them all here. I encourage you to look them up. After trying cold showers for many months, I began trying even colder and colder water with fantastic results. And because of my example, my son did try it as well. We started at 38 degrees Celsius and gradually dropped it to 37 and 35, and even to 32 and 31 degrees Celsius. By the way, that's 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which is your body temperature. To 95, 90, and 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Can you see from this story that motivation is needed to form a habit? I needed to challenge myself, and I did that by becoming a role model for my son. I didn't do it too fast. I just remembered my goal and planted the seed deep into my heart. Step by step by step, I gradually built the courage to continue. I told you this story of cold showering to show you how to form a habit. We must first have motivation and purpose, and we must plan out the details so we know exactly what to do. If you'll share your experiences with others, you'll learn from them as well. Your friends, colleagues, and your family will help you achieve your goals. All right. Until next time. Goodbye. These audio lessons are translated by Yushan Eng's partner Sissy, and then recorded by her husband Justin. I wish you great success today. See you tomorrow.